Hello everybody, how are you? So, it's been a little while since I've been able to make a video. Um, everything's kind of been going crazy. I just actually graduated from NC State, which is good. Um, so now I'm an alumni of NC State. Um, so everything's kind of been just kind of going. Um, I just haven't had time to make a video. I work every day. I, um... I'm now actually working on languages and studying for a recent interview coming up. So I've been busy. I've been really busy. Um, but what I wanted to kind of talk about was uh, being a Creole and how some people may get like that mixed up because of how people look. So all Creole means is pretty much having French blood. That's what being Creole is associated with. Um, yes, Creoles are known to have a mixture of native in them as well and African and European, which is the French, but that's, that's what it is. Like Creole, the French blood in you is pretty much the Creole. So somebody who is Creole, they have French blood. That's the main identifier of somebody who is Creole. Um, when you go to Louisiana, you're going to be around a lot of people who are Creole. And um, that's like a big thing there. And why I bring this up is because, you know, I told somebody about my family history. And I was like, you know, my mom's talking about American and Creole. And they were like, oh, well, you don't look Creole. No, you're not Creole. But see, the problem with that is people associate being Creole as they associate everything else with light skin and all of that that's not people got to stop doing that <laughs> because that's not what it is like you got all people of all different shades who come from all different walks of life um you know just because somebody isn't that skin tone does not mean they're not that um, when you go to Louisiana, you will see people of all skin tones, people of my skin tone, people darker than me, all of them who are Creole, people who are of whitest of white, um, who are Creole, but also are mixed with other things as well. You can't just look at somebody's skin tone and just automatically say, oh, then, oh, no, you're not that. You can't, you can't do that. And I know we do that a lot in America. I know that's a big thing, um, but it needs to stop. Fe you know, looking at people's features, too, needs to stop because there are some features in people that are more prominent, and um, sometimes people don't look what they are. It's just, it's just a thing. Somebody may be half Asian, half European, um, but look more European than Asian. Some people may be um, half African and Asian and look more African. Some people, you know, may be Middle Eastern, European, and African and look more of a mixture of the Middle Eastern and European. It's it's just you can't you can't do that. So you just. It's, it's, it's understanding diversity and it's understanding differences in people. And a lot of people don't do that. And again, I know that's an American thing and I know that's an American concept. Uh, but, you know, you can't do that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk about that because, you know, being Creole, you, you have... <laughs> Creole doesn't have a, a certain look. I know the looks that... The look that's promoted of Creole is uh, is of a lighter tone people who almost look look just european um just like with latin americans you know me being also latin american the latin american image that is presented to the public is somebody who looks almost european um that's literally what's promoted and we know this because it's not it's not something that's a big wow to us. But what I'm saying is you got to be you, you got to be more mindful of, you know, and cognizant of these things. 
Um, we're getting into an age now where this is starting to get really old and where people need to really start thinking about what they're saying because it's it's we're at an age where like you should know this um but also thinking about how the education system is and how some people really still just don't know people are just now starting to get out there and learn um some people just don't know so yeah um yeah that's all I want to talk about like there's no one image of how a Creole person looks but the perception of how a Creole person looks is by what is promoted out into the media and you know a lot of people don't know a lot about Creole people like I really want to make more videos on Creole people because we don't talk a lot about Creole people like they're it's not something really talked about when you think about Creole you really only think about New Orleans that's all people go to really um but you don't hear a lot about Creole people so yeah yeah Creole has many ways to look Latin American has many ways to look um I mean African American African has many ways to look European has many ways to look there's all different ways to look a, look like something. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, guys. I am working on my East African video, my first one. Again, I've been busy, and I just haven't had any time. But um, I will work on it. All right.